You got your eye on anyone? Um, not really. Actually, I was talking to the mouse. But uh, now you mentioned it, some of those uh, Athosian women are pretty hot. And we did just save them from the Wraith, so we got to trade on that while we can, you know, before they discover we're not actually that cool. Sit down, I'm ready. I'm surprised you're so eager to volunteer for this, Rodney. Well, you know me, always eager to help. Right. So, do you have any questions about the process? I mean, you are a scientist. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, medicine is about as much of a science as, uh, oh, I don't know, voodoo? <clears throat> All I need to know is that that will enable me to use ancient technology like Major Shepard, or yourself. Yes, hopefully. You are the first human trial. Well, why now? I mean, if it's possible, we knew we need as many people with the gene as we could get. Well, actually, without proper FDA approval, it was virtually impossible on Earth. Let's just say it's uh, legal here in the Pegasus Galaxy. Well, and completely safe. As far as experimental gene therapy goes, I am manipulating your DNA. Here we go. Well, maybe you should tell me more. We believe ATA, or ancient technology activation, is caused by a single gene that's always on, instructing various cells in the body to produce a series of proteins and enzymes that interact with the skin, the nervous system, and the brain. In this case, we're using a mouse retrovirus to deliver the missing gene to your cells. So a mouse retrovirus? It's been deactivated. Well, are there any side effects? Dry mouth, headache, the irresistible urge to run on a small wheel. Oh, that's very amusing. <laughs> so how long till it starts working? Uh, it could take some time. What is that? Hmm? Oh, something I found in one of the uh, research labs. Something the uh, ancients were experimenting with. Do you know what it is? Ah. Uh, pretty sure. Desalinizing the seawater and storing it in tanks big enough to supply the whole city. Good, so fresh water won't be a problem. It seems some ancient technology requires the user to have the gene. Now, other things merely require initialization. Once activated, like the control room, anyone can push the buttons to make them work. Good morning, Dr. Weir. Good morning. Hey, careful! I think we need to designate some recreational areas. Yes. And we certainly need to clear the hallways and get everything put away as soon as possible. And can we lose the 10,000-year-old dead plants? Of course. We're still in the process of making sure everyone's been assigned living quarters. Major Shepard seems to be taking his time okaying enough space. Well, the safety and security of this expedition are okay, his... Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see that? Yes, what the... I'm fine. Look, Beckett's gene therapy worked. I was able to activate this. It's a, a personal shield, acts like a, a protective skin. And it must have initial dampening properties, too, because uh, I didn't feel a thing. Watch this. Hit me. Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't have to swing so hard. And, and I noticed that he didn't even hesitate. I'm still trying to understand how you thought it was a good idea to test this device by having someone throw you off a balcony. Oh, believe me, that's not the first thing we tried. I shot him. In the leg. I'm invulnerable. Aren't you the one who's always spouting off about how proper and careful scientific procedure must be adhered to? Invulnerable? All right, take it off. Let's go have this meeting. You're just jealous. Oh, yes, green with envy. This could be a problem. I can't get at it. Just checking.